Ukrainian, no. Wow. Lord, we come into you in prayer for the Ukraine. And we crying for every woman, every child who are right now in refugee camps in Poland, in Romania, in Moldova, in all Asia nations. And we're asking Father, that the ministries which are on the ground, uh, which are trying to help uh, every refugee with uh, their physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. And I'm asking Father that the hearts of the people will be softened and that they will, in, instead of hopelessness, instead of fear, instead of uh, pain and hatred, that it will be replaced with uh, light of the gospel, that uh, the people and women and children and, uh, and uh, mothers and grandmothers and elderly men, whoever in those refugee camps, they will become a praying warrior, especially those mothers and who praying for their sons. I'm asking for the wives praying for their husbands. I'm praying, praying that they will become as spiritual warriors who will start to fight in the spirit for their uh, fathers, grandfathers, brothers, and uh, for uh, those who are on front lines. They need that uh, type of uh, battle even more than they need a heavy weaponry right now. And that they will be able in the spirit to pull down strongholds of wickedness in high places, of which are plan, uh, planning uh, to kill and destroy innocent people. And I'm asking Father that you for your protection, the fire of protection on the front lines for every Ukrainian soldier. Father, I'm asking for protection for everybody who uh, was not able to uh, run or uh, be evacuated. I'm asking for every child, that no more Ukrainian children, innocent children be killed. No more grandfathers, no more grandmothers, uh, no more women to be killed and, or be in harmful ways. I'm asking Father for your mercy on Ukraine today. I'm asking Father for your wisdom for the leaders, for everybody who is in charge of uh, humanitarian help or any and who are making a decision on the ground, how to help, how to rebuild, how to evacuate. I'm asking for the wisdom and supernatural strength. And I'm asking Father that uh, it will, the no religious spirits uh, will be on the way, but that every leader in this nation will become a man, a woman of God, praying men, women are, of God who are really have relationship, not religi religious uh, activity, but real relationship with the living God that they will humble themselves, fall on the knees and cry out for, to the living God who is in heaven and say, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And thy will be done for Ukraine on earth as it is in heaven. And give us today our daily bread, yes. especially for spiritual bread and forgive our sins and forgive our uh, trespasses as we forgive those who trespasses against us. Amen. protect us from the lead us not into temptation and protect from evil one yes, for thy is the kingdom thy is the glory thy okay. is the honor okay. that strongholds okay. of unforgiveness and hatred okay. will not be a stronghold for generations to come but okay. they, they will be able okay. through the power of the holy spirit to forgive to forgive to forgive those who don't know the left and from right as the Lord Jesus Christ said on the cross, forgive them, Father, because they do not know mm -hmm. what they're doing. Mm -hmm. As a Stephen was saying, forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they're doing. And may the Lord Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, 
bring the healing to that nation and they will become in a nation which will send missionaries and which will uh, set an example of what the living God can do in the nation which are uh, went through the pain, hurt, destruction, and terrible, terrible testing and pain. But uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit and through the truth of the word of God and holding on to the truth, the healing can come to any nation, even to Ukraine. In Jesus' name, I pray.